My name is Chris Eddy. I'm an ultrasound educator. I've been teaching physicians the art of ultrasound for over eight years now. Today we're going to be using the Clarius scanner and we're going to be covering the art of vessel access under ultrasound guidance. There's two approaches to visualizing a needle under ultrasound guidance, the short axis approach and the long axis approach. Uh, both have their pros and cons. We're going to cover both of those. We'll start with the short axis approach. The trick with the short axis is that you never want the needle tip to get in front of the ultrasound beam. At this point, you've lost the needle tip, and you may as well be doing this blindly. With the short axis approach, I'm going to line the vessel up in the center of the screen, introduce the needle on about a 45 degree angle until I see the needle tip on the screen. I'm going to stop moving the needle. I'm going to slide or sweep the probe away from the needle. I'm going to advance it until I see the tip. I'm going to stop moving the needle. I'm going to advance or slide the probe away from the needle. Advance the needle a little bit more. Stop, slide, stop, slide away. And at this point, you can ensure that the needle tip is entering the vessel by turning into a longitudinal axis. And there's the needle tip in the vessel. For the long axis approach, Line up the vessel on the screen, introduce the needle at about a 45 degree angle in the center of the probe, and you should be able to identify the needle tip as it enters the vessel. A third method combines both the short axis and the long axis, and this allows you to make sure that the needle tip is in fact at the superficial vessel wall. So I'm going to start off in the short axis approach and I'm going to identify the needle tip. And I'm going to slide the probe away. I'm going to advance, stop. There's my needle tip. I'm going to slide. I'm going to advance the probe. And there I see the wall of the vessel and the needle tip are in contact with each other. I'm going to stop moving the needle. Now I'm going to rotate into a long axis and I'm just going to advance the needle the last few millimeters until it enters the vessel. And this way you can ensure uh, that in, in fact the needle tip is in the vessel and it's not uh, gone beyond the plane of the ultrasound beam.